my name is Patty Behan and I'm the marketing coordinator here at Ranger. And today I'm going to show you how to use our Ink Essentials white opaque pen. And I'm going to show you the different ways you can use it on your scrapbook pages. I have this scrapbook page that I've started and I'm going to show you the different things that you can do with your white pen on your layouts. First thing you want to do to get your pen started is you want to scribble on a scrap piece of paper and then I'm going to use it to doodle around this scalloped edge and I'm going to do some stitching. So I'm just going to make some little stitches all along the corner and while I'm doing this let me tell you a little bit about the pen. This pen is filled with a white pigment ink and it's fade resistant and acid free so that's why it's a perfect choice to be using on your scrapbook pages and it is a pigment ink so you do have to let it dry for a little bit and if you're in a hurry you can always hit it with the heat tool to dry it but don't forget if you have photographs on your page you don't want to melt your photos with the heat tool and when you're finished this is what it looks like and the next thing you can do is you can even write on photographs I have here a photograph that I printed on my computer and don't forget to start your pen before you start to write. And I'm just going to write, um, we went on a vacation and this is where we went and I'm going to write the date. Like so. And then another thing you can do is use your pen to make a little mat around your photograph. So I'm going to just draw some lines and just to outline the photograph. And don't worry about drawing straight perfect lines because it kind of looks neat if you go a little crooked. And when you're done it looks like this. And the next thing you're going to do is of course the obvious is we're going to do some journaling. It's always nice to have a little handwriting in your scrapbook pages. I have to admit that I'm very guilty and I do a lot of computer journaling but I do like to every once in a while put a little bit of handwriting just so that people who look at your scrapbooks later on get to know your personality. Okay now we're going to do a little bit of doodling and I'm just going to draw a little heart and some scrolls and if you don't like to doodle there there's lots of stencils and templates that you can use instead too. And that's all, just make some little dots over here. And it's also good for highlighting things on your scrapbook paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little light spot onto my flowers here. And it's also good, you can make little dots and outline the edges of your petals. And now I have these little flowers that I've cut out and I'm just going to place them here. And I've also done some stitching and some outlining. And I've painted this chipboard piece with our dabber paints. And you can also write on top of that with the white pen. You just want to scribble it on your scrap paper to get it started. And just, you can go ahead and write over top of that too. It also works great with over our dye inks and pigment inks as well. Those are just a few ideas to get you started for using our Ink Essentials white opaque pen on your scrapbook pages. But don't forget, you can also use them in your card making and other artwork. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget, a crafty day keeps the stress away.